Hey Bikes, this is Eb and Landon, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Next week, we'll start fully remote school. Let's find out more from Allie and Mr. Alexander. Hey, Vikes. I'm here with Alex to talk about all things remote schooling. So what do you have to tell us? Well, first, everybody knows probably by now that we're going on remote starting on Monday. And we will be on remote all the way through the rest of this first semester, all the way to January 19th. And I think the idea behind that is we have Thanksgiving, then you know, then you have Christmas, then you have New Year's, and there's just a lot of things that we can't control on who people are with and where they're around. And I think they just decided the 19th was the best way to get us two weeks past all of that stuff. And hopefully we can be back in school then. Um, and I'm sure we'll start hybrid style and, you know, hopefully with vaccinations and stuff, maybe by the fourth quarter we can all be back. I don't know if that'll ever happen. I think we'll probably stay hybrid the whole year, but at least we get kids in the building. Um, some things to know. This, again, I'm gonna reiterate, this is not like last spring. Okay, you have to be in class, you have to log on, you have to, um, at the hours that you have your class time, and um, there's not gonna be this grace that we had last spring. You're gonna be expected to learn, you know the drill now, you know, but I'll just give you some tips, you know, some tips are, make sure you find a dedicated workspace, get out of your bed, don't do class from your bed, um, put your social media away while you're in class, just like you are when you're in class here. Those are the two biggest distractions. If you'll just be in class when you're when you're supposed to be on, I'm, sh you know, there'll be some teachers that won't keep you the whole time, but. Um, you know, be in class, ask questions, be engaged. That's where you'll have the most success. Three, when the teacher says you have 20 minutes to work on this stuff and they get, they say A, B, and C, then take your 20 minutes to work on that stuff because if you don't and you just go do something else, then when you, you're you going to have to make up that time on the weekend or in the evening. So use your time during 755 and 305 wisely and you probably won't have to do any other things around that. So, you know, and then use your Wednesday too to catch up, to get on with teachers and get help, you know, and stuff. But you're going to have to be an advocate for yourself. You're going to be in charge of your education. And if you don't understand something, you need to ask questions because teachers are here to help you and they will help you, but you have to let them know you need help. Awesome. Thank you so much. Make sure and follow all the remote guidelines. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Allie. See you in person next semester. Now on to the rest of your announcements. Please wear pink on Monday and Tuesday for Stevie Turner, Washburn Tech students. Beginning November 23rd, most Washburn Tech classes will be remote until December 11th. Check out your program for more information. Bowling team will have an informational meeting today at 1.15 for students interested in the West Commons. Check out Schoology for more information. Any students interested in playing PAL basketball, stop by the front office to register. Deadline is December 16th and games will start on January 16th. Fall sports have ended. Let's go find out more from Savannah. Hey, I'm here with Bethany Driss to get a little insight on the cross country team this year. So Bethany, what was your favorite part of the season? I just liked it all, like just the atmosphere of like the coaches and the runners in it were really fun and I just didn't have a favorite part. So what do you want to improve on next season or what advice would you give to upcoming runners? Um, I just want to get faster, like even more faster um, and any advice would be to just work hard on like their off season and like run and like not get out of shape but like after the season like still like take a break and how was it like to break that school record um it was pretty awesome um i crossed the finish line and didn't expect my time but yeah i don't know it was just happy but then i don't know i was just ecstatic that's all we have from bethany for cross
country. Thanks, Savannah. Now let's send it over to Zoe with the weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. All the strong winds have officially moved out of the area for today. Today, we are expecting to be a lot chillier than what we were compared to the last couple of days with our highs only being up in the 60s area instead of the 70s. For your SBTV 7-day forecast, this weekend we are expecting our temperatures to drop clear down to the 40s and level back out into the 50s starting next work week with some scattered showers in the mix. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Zoe. Let's go check out our first Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Gambino's Pizza. Congratulations to this week's SVTV Athletes of the Week, chosen by the students of Seaman High. These students are Riley Cowan and Mateo Hyman. Congrats, Riley and Mateo. That's all we have for today. See you in person next semester. Thank <laughs> you.